Hello and welcome to Ask the RV Expert. I'm here today with Mike Sokol and in my book Mike knows more about RV electricity than anybody else. And so it's nice to talk to you, a guy that knows so much about RV electricity. Well, thanks Chuck for having me on. How yeah. can I help you today? Yeah, well, I, I have a question for you. Um, uh, and this is one that actually I've thought about. Um, and it's appropriate for summer. What happens in a campground when, for example, everyone is using an air conditioner? That's a lot of power. Could it cause the power at each site to damage my RV? In other words, I, I guess, are you spreading the power so thin that you're not getting enough, you're getting a, a low uh, a power at your site? So w would that hurt our RVs? Well, there's most of the modern electronics in an RV is, has something that's called auto switching power supplies. They'll run anywhere from 90 to 135 volts and be perfectly happy. So, but what happens when you have a lot of power draw at a campground is the voltage may start at 115 and drop to 110 or 105 even. Um, the thing that's dangerous is your air conditioner itself. Even though that's drawing it down from everybody else, if your air conditioner repeatedly attempts to start with low voltage, eventually you will cause damage to the unit. Hmm. So if you can, uh, there are in fact a number of, of fixes you can do, which we'll cover in a later episode. Something's called a hard start capacitor that you can add to your, your HVAC unit. Um, but you know, if your air conditioner is having trouble starting, uh, turn it off. Don't keep don't let it just keep trying to grunt and grunt and grunt because you will burn the compressor up. Okay, that's good to know. And we don't want to burn up, up our compressors, do we? Oh, no, 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 no. But televisions um, and all, all the other stuff inside of your RV, they'll be perfectly happy with that. Yeah, and will. remember, most all of your appliances are going to be running off of 12 volts anyway. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to have some sort of a converter that takes that 120 or 110 or 100, whatever it is, hmm. um, and just recharge your batteries constantly. The only thing that's really dangerous uh, with low voltage is, in fact, your air conditioner. Okay. Good to know. Well, thank you, Mike. You're most welcome. Okay. Bye-bye.